Hi everyone, Jeff Cote here with VotingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater. This boater, Clive, asks, Jeff, I bought a Broward, which is 24 volt battery system, and I'm thinking of changing the batteries, okay? I'm hoping to have around 2000 amp hours at 24 volts. That's a pretty big battery bank. I'm wondering about my battery options and whether I should install 24 volt batteries or wire a bunch of batteries in series to get to 24 volts. Okay. By the way, this is a, you know, series batteries is pretty common. Like when we're thinking about flood lead acid batteries, you know, those batteries are, each cell is around 2.1 about uh, volts. So that's why when we see a battery and we see a 12 volt battery, we'll see six battery caps on top because it's effectively six batteries wired in series to give you 12. Golf cart batteries has three cells of uh, 2.1 and that gives you about 6.3. So you need to have one golf cart battery wired with another golf cart battery to get in series to get to uh, 12.6. So we can't shy away from the fact that series batteries is pretty commonplace. There are challenges though with having uh, batteries in series uh, for sure, but it's common, it's really common. And on large boats, to get to 24 volts, it's pretty common to see potentially two volt batteries wired in series. So that's 12 two volt batteries wired in series to make a 24 volt bank. Two volt batteries are not rare. We've installed lots on the bigger boats. So that's one option. Now, buying 24 volt batteries is hard with lead acid batteries. Uh, it really is. Uh, there's not a lot of batteries that I'm aware of that are 24 volts. Although with lithium, definitely doable. Uh, you can definitely buy a lithium battery that is already 24 volt. There are certainly advantages to wiring batteries in parallel. And if the batteries do go bad, um, it's easier to deal with removing one parallel battery because now your battery bank is still always 24 and you just remove one bad battery versus if you've got one bad battery in series, the whole bank is shot. Because ultimately what you're missing is you're missing 2.1 volts. And 2.1 volts is a big deal, even on a 24 volt system. And so, but you know, it's half a dozen of one or half a dozen of the other, really. The limitation, if you're gonna go with lead acid batteries is you're most likely gonna end up with either 12 volt batteries and a couple in series to make 24 right? And then have those 24 volt batteries be in parallel. Or you're going to run maybe 12 two volt batteries, or you might get four volt batteries and you might again have six of them in series. And then one way would be to have multiple of these 24 volt battery banks in parallel. You know, I've seen both. I don't think it's um, potentially not, it's hard to say what the right decision is. You know, over time, I've had preferences for one or the other, but I really see the merits of both. Maybe when you're making that decision, Clive, think about more of the battery that you want to choose and not get so maybe um, not so concerned with the fact of if you're going to do it in parallel or series. There's certainly pros and cons to each. And some of us here on, on YouTube are going to have an opinion on it. And all of us should have an opinion, potentially. Please share your opinion down below. Let us know what you've done and why. I know that some of you that are watching these YouTubes are even more technically, uh, I guess, um, experts than I am on wiring batteries in series or parallel. So please, I'd like to have your comments. But I think it's, it's about the same. There are benefits to both. And um, yeah, so 2000, bank, 2000 amp hour uh, 24 volt is huge. So make sure that you've got a decent chargers, minimum. 10% of capacity, minimum. So that means 200 amps at 24 volt, and that's minimum. If you went with Firefly, they want 20%. So now you're talking about uh, at least a 400 amp charge rate at 24 volts. That's 800 amps at 12. So to achieve a bank of that size, you're gonna need some serious uh, inverter chargers or chargers that are daisy chain to be able to bulk charge this battery bank at a sufficient charge rate especially if they're lead acid batteries, either AGM or even just flooded. So good question. Um, I think there's still a lot of discussion on what's right. Certainly it's a contentious point on the internet. You can see it generally from forums and whatnot, but I think it's pros or cons are about similar. So thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. 
If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.